21st of July, UFC Fight Pass, BT Sport, uh, f uh, Free Sport, I don't know, Graham, Drog uh, Graham Bolin has everything, has everything shown in the fights. Um, I have one of the fighters on right now with me. Steve, you're taking on, Paul I want to say Paul, but he's got two L's, so I'm not sure if it's Paul. It's not so I do everything different. Paul McBain. Uh, Paul. Dude, Cage Warriors, always a solid promotion to be part of. Huge yep. platform to kind of showcase your skills. Yes. You must have been absolutely buzzing to get to get on this card. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been a long time coming. You know, I had a, a fight with them a couple of years back, back in Jordan. Um, and went on a good winning streak and kept saying they wanted me, but nothing come about. And now, you know, it's finally come about and, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And I was going to say, because they've... They've gone through a lot of changes in, yeah. for example, when, like you said, Jordan, that was the pre, pre-owners. pre yeah. now they've... And then it stopped. Yeah, then it came back. So, came back, they're obviously yeah. going through a transition themselves. They've got you back. Uh, it's it's a case, though, it's still the same kind of core, but it's just obviously they've just rebranded. Re but I think they're doing fantastic. You know, yeah. like they've, they've come oh, back. They start steady. It's just and, taking off. Oh, it's going crazy, hasn't it? The, the, the divisions are getting stacked. They're getting deeper. They're getting fantastic matchups for people. You know, yeah. like you know you, yourself. You saw, for example, McBain. You're fighting. You know, you got yourself a good talent to fight to go up against as well. It's not. It's not a case of they're the feeding fighters. No, so, you're always going to have a tough fight, aren't you? So, yeah, Ian, Ian's a, a devil for that. He'll make sure he puts on uh, well contested bouts. Obviously, some yeah. bouts finish early because. The guy just does enough to. He's got the skill set to do it. You know that's the that's the high level we're dealing with. Yeah, that's the thing. So let's look at this kind of uh, run that you've got to go into because you're going with uh, Cage Warriors. It's it's is it a multi fight deal you've got, yeah? I've had I've no deal yet. Just no deal. Uh, so just like no a deal. quick backhander. <laughs> yeah, just this fight. Yeah, um, I don't think uh, Jack's been. He has. I haven't been approached by Jack saying about a, a deal or anything. Mm. So. Perhaps it's just to uh, get this fight, see how that goes, and then offer me one after that. Ah, uh, like a performance-related, maybe. Okay, so yeah, like, kind of like Dana White choosing a contender. Yes. <laughs> see, if I, see if I've got the beans to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but the thing is, you've got to. You, I imagine you'd want to be getting up to those kind of contracts with them because the, the featherweight division they have. Again, it's another division that keeps moving because, like for example, you had uh, Paddy and Nad who were. Previous yeah. champs and, and Alex, of course, and they all kind of well. Paddy's went up. Nad and Alex ended up going UFC direction. The There's a lot of change, you know. It's opportunity yeah. for you to. Someone needs to stamp their their feet on the division at the minute. A um, few names floating about, but I want to add my name to that that pool and uh, make a run for that belt, that vacant belt. Oh, well, that's what I was about to say. That you want to kind of put your foot down to make exactly. the, the cage warriors say, "Right, well, we need to add him to the roster because we've got another challenger here." Because there isn't, like you said, you, you said it yourself. There's no clear-cut guy at the moment. It's just who stands out. Yeah, exactly. There's only, don't know. I can only think of two names, three names. So, but it's not. There's not like one guy out there that everyone's there's no, saying. Yeah, that there's guy. no one out going. Oh yeah, you know he's he's going to be the next champ. Yeah. One to watch. Just laugh that like that. Do you know what I mean? It's just. It's good that they've got multiple op multiple names. You know, the, the, the division's got an opportunity. I would like to see myself. I'd like to see like maybe like a four man tournament. You know, all four of you fight. Like, say for yeah. example, fight Graham, the same Graham, night Graham, and then. Graham tweeted that. Yeah. Not so long back. I think it was show before. The Antwerp one, I think, yeah. just about oh, maybe a four-man tournament. But I think nothing, it makes sense. Nothing's been done since, but could you could do it? it? You could do. I tell you where you could do it. You could do it in Liverpool in the September card. Have four four fight then, and then the winner, the two winners, sorry, would go, would go on to like the year-end card that they do yeah. to fight for the belt. I think that would work but, quite well. Yeah, so it's things get this win, mm. make it convincing, and uh, you know, get my foot in there. And obviously, the team that you are surrounded by has a wealth of knowledge. Let's put it that way. Yes. You've you've got the uh, the smooth, sublime head of Jack to, to rely upon. 
Yeah, certainly smooth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but when you've got someone like Jack and Sean as well, yeah. and Jason, you know, the, I, I, I've got to admit, like, you know, when I trained there and uh, Sean was doing the class, you know, there was, there was a great balance that Sean has, for example, with his coaching where it's fun yeah. in moments, yeah. but he gets the key bits of information in. Because what I always find, if I can go into somewhere, into a gym, and learn something, it means what they're doing is it's sticking. Because yeah. I can easily go to show someone an arm bar, and then next week if they come back, and they can't remember any of it, apart from that they have an arm between their legs, if I haven't shown them stages one, two, and three, well, it's not really teaching very well. You know, It doesn't no. stick. So yeah. you've got guys there that you know they've, they've got experience themselves. Is that something that you take on board, having those well, those guys with that knowledge that you just learn and absorb from them all the time? Yeah, do you know, um, most of the time my classes are just with Jack. You know, I don't really get down to Colchester. Oh, something's popped up. Don't really get up to Colchester too much. But, um, you know, when, when they do come down, you know, like you said, great, great knowledge from everyone. Um, we've got Arnold down at the minute who's helping out as well. Yeah. He's home so yeah just taking it all on board just just ironing out little little details that you know need to be done and just just got to get it in as much as you can you has, I mean? has, has Arnold got that moustache still no he, he lost the bet <laughs> <laughs> he lost the bet it's gone uh, it was questionable I gotta say I did rip I don't worry I ripped him just like everyone else did I got my fair share because I was in Liverpool for when he went to fight, you see, so. Okay. It, oh, I got a good, he got a good lick in there. Um, so, like, are you, because uh, the Chelmsford gym that they've got going down as well, I like that facility. It looks fantastic. I haven't, I haven't yeah. been to the the, the, the the way it looks, but it looks awesome. Yeah, it's it's really good, you know. Uh, mainly, it's like mainly a Gracie Barra place. Yeah. We've sort of, when we, we moved over from our old place in Chelmsford, joined onto them, you know. Yeah, it's really good. Mat space is good. Always mats are always full. You know, it's uh, it's, a, it's good good setup. It's got everything you need. Um, yeah, close to everyone, close to yeah. the close to the train tracks. Everyone can get there from all over the place. Yes, yeah, good facility. And you, you said yourself, you mentioned Arnold. He was someone I was going to bring up. You've trained with Arnold in the past. You you, you know you've known him for a, you know extended period of time. Oh, and, yeah. And you've seen him go to the UFC. Yeah. When you're training with him. Does that make you start to realise going, do you know what? There isn't like this it's not golf, it's not it's not like the UFC guys are, are ultimately untouchable. Like Arnold's a talent, but I've trained with him for years. I can you know, I sparred with him, I grapple with him, you know, we, we give him we, we give him we take. And for you yourself, you know, like I say, the first goal is probably like get yourself in the cage warriors on a multi deal to potentially then start building up the championship run. And you think to yourself, Well, actually, you know, Corey's doing well as well, you know, Corey yeah. McKenna, she's She's amazing, isn't she? Bloody impressive, yeah. Bloody awesome. And she's a great girl. And her mum, obviously, Wendy, you know. Yep. Uh, when you see that all this kind of all this kind of happening with everyone else, you must believe in yourself that that's, that's pretty much there for you. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't really think about it too much. Just I like to sort of, I don't, I'm not really one that sort of, I don't, I rarely watch, watch it on TV now because I'm so busy. Mm. You know, it's hard just to try and keep up. I'm not really one to... Follow, follow other fighters or stuff like this. I sort of just—I don't know really. It's just like just like a li little sport for me. I think I, just, <laughs> I, really, I, I take it seriously in my training and the fighting, yeah. but I'm not like 100%. That's all I think about. That's all yeah. I do. Um, which some might say is a, a bad thing, a good thing. Do you know what I mean? It's, I think it's a good thing. Yeah, I'm because I was speaking to Ed Arthur as well, and he said it himself too. If if you go all in and mentally as well, you kind of just wear yourself out. Yeah, you know, I did it when I started competing. I just thought, well, that's it. No social life, no friends, yeah. just MMA. And then you know, a couple of years down the line, you just there's not much left in the tank because you've just yeah. you've it's not a strain on your relationship as well. Ah. Oh. I didn't, have a, I didn't have a life. Then you know what? Just the work. Well, I'm, I'm most, most, most nights of the week, I work all day, go out training, don't get home till ten half ten. Yeah. Know what I mean, so I'm, on my days off where I'm not training all the weekends, I sort of just put it to the back of my mind, ready yeah. for start again on Monday, and that's it. I'm not really 
chasing it on Facebook or TV, who's no. doing this, who's doing that. Do you know what I mean? So I've got to ask though, if you're Diddy Kong, who's yes. King Kong? Who's Donkey Kong? Who's the, who's who's the Kong? Who's the top man then? If you're Diddy, no one at the minute. <laughs> is it was Diddy just because of? You, is that because like a progression? So when you get a bit, when you you know, in a year or two, you get the, you get the crown yourself. You know, Donkey Kong. Is that what it, might, it is? It might, it might come to that. <laughs> it's an old uh, come about from an old amateur fight. One of my friends just said it messing about. I never, never really sort of became a fan of it, but <laughs> that was years ago, and that was sort of the only one that kept floating about. And then coming back after my knee off, I was like, right, let's. Let's set it in. Let's let's set it in stone. Let's keep it. Let's get it done. Hey, um, I like it. Retro on. retro gaming, man. I like it. <laughs> yeah, looks good on the t-shirt as well. <laughs> uh, I noticed you. You like me. I don't do a lot of reading either. But you've bought yeah. a book, Ant Middleton. Yeah. Have you read it yet, or have you just done what I do? Look at the pictures and go. Oh. Yeah, smashed it. There is no pictures. I was, I was devastated. <sighs> There's no pictures, but um, no, I've, I've started it. I've, I haven't been back into it for about a week. It's just sitting on my side over there. I can see it. Now. <laughs> uh, but, in dust. <laughs> yeah, Tesco's club card voucher I'm using as my little book, my little bookstop. <laughs> but yeah, I, I haven't really got back to it for the last week or so. But I need to. It was so, good. It was good while what I started, what I read. So, what made you pick a book that if you don't read? You pick that. What made yeah. you suddenly go? Oh my God, look at that! Yeah, it's not the fact that I don't want to read mm. or anything like that. It's just because I'm so busy. So I've yeah. got to have, I don't really. I want to read something that's sort of like that. It's a an autobiography. I've, I've watched watched him on TV. I like his programs or sort of the way he is. So I see it coming out and thought, yeah, everyone's number one seller. Everyone's raving about it. So we'll give it a go. See what see what I can take from it. So you're like you say your times your times restricted on the weekends you just switch off from the MMA world. Yeah, pretty much. But what do you do when you're switching off? What is it you like to do, man? Obviously, recovery is key, so you're not going to be doing but, uh, marathons. But spend time with my wife. <laughs> that's a good answer. That's the first answer. That is what you should put. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, yeah that's, that, that's pretty much it. To be fair. Yeah. yeah that, it's it's a, it's a good break though, good. isn't it? Yeah. It's, it, you can just switch off from the like you say MMA world completely, and she probably yeah. like, thank God we're not talking about MMA again. Yeah, she's in the kitchen. She just goes, oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Brownie points. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, so basically, uh, is so you like your time is with your missus, and it's it's just something that k gets you away from the MMA world, yeah, like if, you say. That's if I haven't got anything planned on my motorbike. <laughs> ah, so are you like an off road? Was it off road? Yeah, yeah, I've got an enduro bike, but it's road legal as well. So if she's busy, that's yeah. I'm I'm happy because I can go out on the bike and uh, now, plan a day. But it's when I come back from training all week and then go, oh, yeah, I'm going out on the weekend. I'm, I'm riding the bike. <laughs> 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 Try and get away with it. It works most most of the time. But is it is it, is it one of your girls' birthdays or something? One of your friends' birthdays? You should go out yeah. for yeah. You should go out all, yeah, no, all day. Like Have a oh, spa yeah. day all day and. Yeah, I'll do some cleaning the house and stuff, and yeah, you, you go. <laughs> I'll be back. Yeah. So, enduro bike. So, is does that yeah. something though you have to be careful with in fight camp? Because let's if you fall off, I'd imagine it tickles a bit. I, I fell off two weeks ago. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I, I was coming back from Sunday sparring, uh, wheeling along the road on the way back, and uh, missed the back brake, and it come up a little bit too too steep. <laughs> And I carried on like this until my arse scraped on the floor, dropped the bike, and smashed all the exhaust up, smashed the front wheel up. <laughs> oh, no. I only just fixed, finished doing it up as well. So <sighs> back to buying more parts. So <laughs> so the, that's it now. Is it kind of like you just have a break from it just in case you do have accidents like that? Because no, no. But no, no, it, no. for anyone listening for insurance purposes, of course you do, yeah. Ian Dean <laughs> would probably, yeah, yeah. We totally, totally, totally just rest. But, uh, do you like do you like your off road and your road bikes like your MotoGP and stuff like that? Yeah, I, I, I want a road bike, but I know I hurt myself, <laughs> <laughs> and I so, can't afford I can't afford one. Do you follow the TT at all? Then do you do you know about the Ironman uh, TT? Same again. I'll watch it if it's on, but yeah, I don't really 
get strict with it and sort of knock yeah. it down and watch it. Oh. Well, it's only two. It's only on. Uh, uh, like I say, it's only on two weeks a year. We just because I'm on the yeah, other hand. Yeah, I, I, I was watching bits of it. It's just incredible what they do. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the videos. It's just how can you have the the package downstairs to just do that? No, no, it's they've got a package downstairs. They just haven't got anything upstairs. True. Mental. I've 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 been Connor Cummins. He's actually because I'm from I'm, I live on the island, so I basically watch TT as well. So I've been out with Connor. Cummins, uh, Manx lad, look lad, and I swear, I, I, I've said to him, said I will go in the cage. I'd, I'd, I'd go in the cage with Francis and Ganu and let him punch me in the face. But do you want me to do that? Nah. Now nah, there's levels to crazy because people go, oh, you're crazy. I can't believe you do this yeah. cage fight. No, 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 it's not. Anyone could, anyone would do that rather than that. Exactly. Do you know what I mean just one, one tiny little mistake? Even one one stone that's flicked onto the road. Yeah, you know I mean? bit of oil, bit of oil that's come off exactly. a previous bike. And yeah, that's it. Your life, your life's Well, ninety nine percent of your life's gone, basically, isn't it? That's the Oof. chance of dying is pretty Huge. much hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Have you? Uh, I don't know if you've seen it, but have you seen one of the guys called? This, I'll send you a link if you haven't. A guy called Milky Quail. Uh, he had an accident. And you've seen uh, Connor as well. Shit. Connor Cummins had one as well off the off the mountain. And ah, uh, oh, man, just. And the thing yeah. is, Connor had the accident, and again came back. And he's just like, "Why would you do that?" Yeah, it's, it's, it's you know, I mean, I'd love to go and watch it. Mm. Yeah, I, it's a great. Oh, it's, oh, it's, I'll, I'll advertise it right now. The atmosphere on the island—it's like a carnival kind of f feel to it, you know. So yeah. we we get like thirty thousand people rocking up. 30,000 people, all basically biking fans so it's just a, a nice kind of vibe because everyone's here for the same reasons yeah uh, and it's no it's not like competition based or anything it's not like you get you know certain fans following what it, everyone's joining together just yeah, to enjoy the event like bloody racing motorbikes basically and the amount of different bikes you get coming over is obscene like ah oh, i can't even put it to words it's just insane some of the bikes i've never even thought would be like they got, people got custom made kind of designs and that are oh, they're beautiful things but honestly, you, your missus would have a good time too, because yeah. like you say, it's that kind of yeah, festival no, like, kind of vibe. Like the new Norton, that looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. Sounds amazing as well. <laughs> it does. <laughs> you, you, know, you always know when there's a Norton around. It's, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that looks an incredible way. Yeah, it is, mate. Honestly, watch, watching him go around, like John McGuinness wasn't riding this year and he went yeah, around the track true. on one and... It was ah beautiful to watch, mate. Like, and, and John McGinn is top top bloke as well. He's a good lad. I did make him wait in a queue once in a bar because he was trying to get in the bar. And was, we had to wait. I had to like, queue. And a friend of mine went up and went, "Oh, it's it's John McGinnis." I went, I, "I know, I can see." Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, can you come in? Yeah, when they've gone in first, and it just I was just like, "Nah, nah." Just uh, want to put me authority down. Don't care who you are, Mister Big Sam. <laughs> hey, look, man, the fight itself. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the card anyway. It's, it's, it's Cage Warriors. So I'm always, it's always going to be a good card, you know. Fight fans yeah. love watching Cage Warriors. Um, you, you've got fight camp to go. You're feeling good. Weights, obviously, I imagine on point. What's your thoughts on Paul as a fighter? Then, when you go, in, when you go into this matchup, have you got a, a kind of opinion about how you're going to attack this fight? Um, yeah, to be fair, he's, his style is pretty similar to my last. Three fights, no, my last two fights, sorry. Um, you know, quite tall, six foot. I think he's six foot. Right, he's round about that, round about six foot. Quite long. Uh, so, again, I'm going to close in the distance as usual. Um, try not to get my nose broke this time in the light like I did in the last fight. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the same game plan I've had for the last two fights. Just got to keep that pressure on, which is what i'm known for to be fair just lots of pressure yeah and i just can't let just can't let him establish establish his range i think if he does that his, his striking looks good mm. you know his, his boxing and his he's technically good on the strike so i can't close that range you know i could could, could be in a bit of trouble but mm. i can't see anything that's you know standing out worry yeah. about yeah nothing standing out mm. i got i got the experience over him so you know what I mean? That 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 that'd be key for this. Yeah, thing. yeah. Oh, it's huge. Yeah, I was. Gonna... That is the crazy thing about these kids. Some of these weight classes. Like, what is a featherweight over six foot? Like, how can you be over six no. foot and be a featherweight? I'm, how? I'm five seven. I'm. I, 
I struggle to make featherweight really. Yeah, there's nothing on them. I've got I, I've got guys that I train with, and they're six foot, gangly long things, and they're just like 145 pounds. I'm just like, what the? Yeah. I stand next to them like, dude, I can I could not be one. I can't be 145 ever. Like, how are you that weight? Like, do you not lift dumbbells? Do you not? You never heard of squats? Do you know? Do you not work out, mate? What's going on? Like cardio and no carbs, is it or something like? That. I don't I don't know how to do it, mate. I'm not a clue. But look, it's gonna be an awesome fight. I'm looking forward to it. Everyone at home is gonna watch it. But for people at home who'd like to tune in to follow you on social media, how do they do that, mate? Uh, you can hook me up on Twitter and Instagram. It's all the same at Aimable four five five. Um, my my Facebook Steve Aimable. Um, I haven't sorted out a fighter page yet. Lazy. Yeah, just. If you want to get, just get me what I'm on. Do you know what I mean? And what about sponsors, though? They're key. They they are the people that help get fighters through that fight camp. They're a huge part of the fight game. Yeah, it's struggling to pick those up at the minute, you know. Um, I've got one that's just come on board, uh, Project Utopia. Um, you know, really, you're really grateful for them helping me out. Yeah, looking forward to working with them for the near future. Um, yeah, just anyone wants to get on board, hook up uh, Stone Sports Management uh, at gmail.com or you can come to me for any of mine and we can go from there. I, w I would like it to be like an email as smoothhead or cone, cone, conehead at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, look, we've got to always, always give stick to Jack. Always. Never let it rest. But, uh, Look, Jack's awesome. He's a great guy, and, and look, he will sort. He'll get. He will sort out sponsors anyway. He'll help you out. Yeah. That's the, the, pla the platform you're on, mate. It's huge. It's exactly. Do you know what I mean? I'm not. This isn't paying my bills or anything like that. No, no, no. no. This is uh, still a bit of fun to me, so yeah. I'm not. If they want to jump on board, they can jump on board. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I'm, yeah. I'm grateful for any any type of support. Mm. You know, all of us, all of us, all of us fighters are grateful for any support we can get, and you know, if we can. Uh, give good advertising and stuff like that on the platform that we're going to be you know putting everything on yeah. do you know what I mean it's a win-win for everyone to be fair exactly it is mate it is 100% and last but not least we said about Jack there but do you want to give a shout out to any other people obviously uh, the first person you're going to mention is the person in the same building as you right now as a thanks uh, she's, but, in uh, the, she's in the garden at the minute I'm safe alright <laughs> <laughs> oh no she's not in the garden she's back <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you know, just just all the usual. We've got obviously Jack Mason, Stone Sport Management, trying to you know just getting getting the best from me out of everything. Do you know what I mean? Pushing me. Got all my teammates. Speak okay. Got uh, Edward Steiner. You know, he's been helping me out. Got Gracie Barra. You know, just, just there's so many names. Do you know what I mean? But they're the they're the main few that are you know really helping me get the best out of me. Fantastic, mate. Honestly, have a great time. Have a, enjoy your fight camp, and of course, enjoy getting just getting back under those lights, mate. It's uh, it's a, it's a great promotion, you know yourself. So it's it's going to be a fun ride. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. This will be uh, number three back on three with win win streak after this one. So hat trick back of the net. Exactly. So I'll just just keep racking them up until I get that belt. 